merging tables with the merge command. The merge command is used to merge two tables, a source table and a target table. Generally, the target table exists as acceptable data in a database. A source table is really a table containing data which is not necessarily in the database yet, where some of the rows could update rows in the target table, and some of the rows could actually be inserted as new rows into the target table. So, merge is used to insert new rows and update existing rows between a source and a target table. Here's the syntax of the merge statement. We're going to merge into a table using another table, namely the table we're coming from, the source table. We're going to connect the two tables with a type of a join clause, which is really on, and then a list of column matches. When rows are matched between into or source and using target table, we are going to update with a standard update set statement. When the join does not match the rows, it means we have new rows to insert into the target table, so we use a standard insert statement. Let's go and look at an example. Once again, in this situation, I do not have any tables within the concert schema which would easily allow me to demonstrate the use of a merge command. The merge command, much like the example I used for splitting tables using the multiple inserts command, requires me to really create extra data around the outside. It kind of borders on data warehouse type functionality as well. So I'm going to do something extra. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table called new categories. I'm going to select all the data from the category table. Unlike my previous demonstration where I created the table and I spec'd out the columns, I'm simply going to create the table using the category table and all its rows, and I'm going to restrict the row numbers to less than one. What would this do? This would actually give me the structure without any of the rows, because the row number less than one is zero. So what do I get from that? I get no rows selected. The result of using this create table statement would actually give me an empty table. So let's create my empty table. Let's describe new categories. And let's select everything from new categories. And we find we've got nothing. Now what we want to do is we want to demonstrate the use of a merge command. So we're going to take the new categories rows and merge them into the categories table, ultimately. So what we really need is we need in order to demonstrate both update and insert, is we need new categories in the new categories table. We also need some categories in the new categories table that already exist in the categories table. That's a bit long-winded. So what we'll do is we're actually going to go and look for some rows in the category table that already exist that we want to do something to change them. I picked on these rows because they have a front slash in them and I can change those fairly easily. As you can see, I ran the query and I copied it into my script file here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the rows with this front slash in from the category table, select this from category, and I'm going to paste them into the new categories table. The other thing I know about these rows is that I'm not going to change the parent ID, so I'm not going to take the parent ID and copy it into the new categories table. It's probably a good idea, but it's not necessary at this stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these rows and copy them into my new table. I have six rows created. And now I'm going to change the rows that I've just created in the new table. And I'm going to replace that front slash with a new sequence of characters, which I'll update it, and I'll show you how they look. So let's select star from new categories table. And we find that the front slashes have disappeared, and all the ends are there. I don't have parent IDs, as I said already. I didn't put them in there. The intention is not to update the parent IDs. Now let's go and create some new rows in the new categories table that do not exist in the category table. 
you may have noticed that I actually just changed this data. The reason why was because the racing records already exist. I created them earlier. So I'm going to create some new records. We know we don't have anything to do with the Olympics, and we don't have these subsets either. So let's just spread this out a little so we can see it more easily. I'm going to insert a single new parent category and then three subcategories within that parent category. So I'm going to insert athletics as being part of Olympics, swimming as being part of Olympics, and I'm also going to add something called weightlifting as being part of the Olympics. So let's copy and paste these rows and let's paste them in and execute them. And it gives me four new rows created. Let's go and verify that. Let's select everything from new categories. Remember, we haven't inserted into categories yet. We've simply added new categories records. Here are my updates with the and replacing the front slash. And here are my new rows with their proper parent IDs. Now on to my merge command. What I'm going to do, as I said, is I'm only going to update the name fields for existing categories, and I'm going to insert all the values for categories that do not exist. So I'm going to merge into my category table using my new categories table. I'm going to match between the categories table on the category ID and the new category table also on the category ID. So all existing rows will match on this on clause, all non-existing rows will not match and will be inserted 